Hello Aces, welcome back to module 7, lesson 2.2, crafting your irresistible press release. If you haven't gone through the last lesson, we talked about how you can get some free press. And in this lesson, we're going to cover how we can craft an irresistible press release that will attract coverage. So then that way journalists would actually be willing to put your article into and distribute it to their followers and subscriptions. So with your wow factor and information about your outlets and journalists, it is now time to create your irresistible press release. If you don't know what I'm talking about wow factor, nor do you not know how to find the outlets or journalists, it is time to go back to the previous lesson, 7.21. That's where we talked about the four simple steps to get you free PR. So definitely go back if you haven't already done so, but if you have, we will dive right in right now. So <clears throat> one thing that you need to understand is that when you're writing a press release, you're not writing the actual story for your journalist. You're actually writing the bones. So the intro, the outro, the talking points, so on and so forth, which we will break down too. I'm just explaining to you about the principles of how you can craft a press release. We need to be able to package in a way so then that way it becomes easy for our journalists to take these bones, these main talking points, and package it in their way of talking, in their way of writing, so then it becomes a seamless experience for their readers as well. Some key insight is that a lot of times we would have so many different things that we want to share with these journalists, we want to tell them how great our brand is. We want to tell them the associations we associate with, the charities that we support, the new item that we have, and the new location that we have. All these crazy things that we are doing that's amazing. However, when we're talking to press release and journalists, we want to stick with just one talking point. We really, really want to focus on that talking point, and we can supplement with different key points as well. So for example, if our angle was to create, a, if we our angle was that the journalists talk about our crazy flaming king salmon roll, which is great, we can write that as a top talking point. That's the main thing we want them to focus on. So then that way, that would be the wow factor that would entice their readers to read their articles. However, we can also support this whole journal with more different key points such as being a new Japanese restaurant in Vancouver scene, sushi well known in Hokkaido. And these are just supplementary points that we can add in there. And that allows our journalist to pick and choose whichever point she feels is relevant instead of us just having like six different talking, uh, six different angles or six different talking points, then that confuses our journalists. So definitely just stick to one and then support them with all the different supportive uh, key points that we can talk about. Now, we're going to be talking about the seven parts of an irresistible press release. First off, we want to have a very wow and really eye-catching headline. So for us, we wrote something like world's first cannabis infused soft serve ice cream in Vancouver. Right off the bat, we tell the, our audience and we tell our journalists exactly what the wow factor is, which is having a cannabis ice cream in Vancouver. Second, we talk about the problem. What is the problem on hand? It is because Vancouver scene is boring. Vancouver dessert scene is boring. And that's why we want to uh, spice it up with a cannabis infused ice cream. The solution is the fact that we're going to in infuse quality THC and extract that from uh, cannabis and put that and inject that into ice cream. And that's our solution to this problem. Some of the quotes that we, uh, our journalists can possibly use to, to paint a better picture in her article. So that's why we want to include quotes as well, just to paint a better picture and just to be more descriptive. We also want to support what we are seeing, what we're claiming with data. And the reason why we want to support it with data is because this becomes a lot more credible as the journalist decides to share this to their viewership. And then a call to action. What do we want our viewers to do after they view this? Ours is to come and check us out. We have, uh, we're only available uh, for two weeks uh, from April 5th to 14th at all three of our locations. And then as a summary, what is it that we're doing? So these are the seven parts to creating an irresistible press release. Be 
agile and also be very careful in terms of how you craft this. We don't want to write a whole essay like I was saying. These are the bones, these are the items, and these are the main points that we want to put into our press release. And if you follow this format, your chances and your likelihood of getting picked up by journalists would skyrocket. And that's how we were able to get tons and tons of articles published for free. That's worth tens and thousands of dollars. So definitely this press release format works and that's what I'm sharing with you. And in the link below, download the template and, a template and follow along to put in your own um, spin and your own wow angle into this. In this lesson, you've just learned how to create that irresistible press release. Download it from the link and follow along to create your very own. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how you can target journalists through Facebook ads to get coverage. We talked about the FOMO enhancer. And there's a part within FOMO enhancer that we talked about is to run ads to target journalists within your area. So then that way it's in their face. And as the more that it's in their face, the more likely that they're gonna cover it. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.